What is going on you guys? In this video today, we're gonna to talk really quickly, this is gonna be a super short video, how to add alt tags to your WordPress images. Now, some people are like, eh, is this really that important? Do I need to do that? Yes, this is so incredibly important. The reason is it's huge for SEO. That's probably the number one reason. If you're not adding alt tags to your images, Google probably will penalize you Two, it's kind of just a common courtesy, uh, and I'll explain that in just a second. Now, an alt tag, what, what is it? All, it? all it stands for is alternative text. And really what that is, is it's just a description of what your image is displaying. So if we jump into my computer here, this is a, this is a blog that I'm working on for a software company that I run. Um, if I click on this, I can scroll down and let me find any, any image. We'll just take this first one. If I right click on it and go inspect, You'll see in the code right here, uh, again, it's just this big long block of, of text. But as I scroll over, you can see there's this section that says ALT alt and it's Rentastic Register Page. So what this is doing is this is telling Google that uh, even though it can't see the image, it doesn't know what the image is, the alt tag gives it a description of what that image is talking about, what it's doing, what its purpose is on the page. Now, aside from SEO, the other thing that this is important for uh, is for accessibility reasons. So let's say you're blind. Did you know that if you were blind, you can still use the internet? And that's because of alt tags. So if you're blind, what you have is you have something called a screen reader. You can browse websites, you can, you can scroll through pages. The screen reader will do just that. It's gonna read the text to you. The problem is if you don't put in alt tags on your images, then these screen readers it's not gonna be able to describe to this person who can't see what your image is supposed to be showing them. It can be very simple. As long as you have something in there, I mean, if it's a picture of a bird, and you say bird, then, then you're good. So um, again, that's just a, kind of a, a backstory talking about why we need alt tags. Let's show you how to quickly add them. So if I wanna edit this post, for example, I'll come in here. If I scroll down, I can click on my image and then click on the pencil to edit. And then right here, you have this section that says alternative text. And that's all it is. You type in there, hit update, publish and save your article, and then you're done. That's all you have to do. Now it's so important that you add alt tags to every single image on your website. So if you haven't done it in the past, it's kind of daunting to go back and be like, Ooh, yikes, I have to add alt tags to every single image. It's better just to get in the habit right now and as you add images, make sure that you add one for every single image. So that's all it is. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that was beneficial. If you have questions, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.